Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to first congratulate my classmates for making it this far. As of today, we're officially done, although I know many of us have been saying that since junior year. And today is also the last day we'll all be united here as a class. After today, many of us will part into our separate ways. For us, for many of us, we'll be going to college. Others, we may be entering the military, such as the Naval, I mean, Air Force Academy, uh, and even some of us maybe even take a gap year. Uh, there's this belief that everyone has that first place is the best. So for this, I'd like to congratulate both valedictorians. But then where does that leave the rest of us? What about the ones that aren't first? As one person puts it, being second place is just a first loser. Nobody wants to be second place, but someone still has to do it. Let's face it. It's called first place for a reason. Whether it's sports, academics, or music, there's always going to be someone out there who's better than you. No matter how much harder you try or how much determination you have, some of these people are just impossible to surpass. But unfortunately, this is what life is like. But don't be discouraged. It's OK not being first. It's important to keep in mind that you don't need to be first in order to be successful. So success does not stem from rank. Like, for example, let's look at colleges. It's fine if you didn't get into your top choice school. You don't need to go to Harvard or Princeton to be successful in life. You can be successful no matter which school you intend. Any college can produce people who will thrive in this world. It's a matter of how well you try and how much effort you put in. And then let's talk about rankings for a second. They can be biased. Rankings are meant to measure one specific quality. It doesn't measure the entire worth of a person. So you could be very well be first in one category while last in another. Everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses. So these are things that you should be concerned about instead of fretting about what rank you achieve. We're up here today because this area we happen to have strength is, is in school. But say example, what if class rank wasn't dependent on GPA for let's say some measure, other metrics such as athleticism or how many chicken nuggets you can eat. Who knows who will be up here giving speeches today? Each person has their own unique area they can excel at. For, each, for some of us, we already know what this is, but for others, we have yet to, be, have yet to find it. And that's okay. One of my favorite quotes is, not all who wander are lost. It's okay to explore for where your strengths lie, even if it takes you months or years to do so, because once you find it, success becomes one step closer. So keep in mind that although today marks the end of a chapter in your life, also marks the beginning of a new one. Don't make this chapter the climax of your story. There's still so much out there to explore and much more exciting things to come. Once again, congratulations and best of luck to everyone. Thank you.